Well, we've got the spots for the big rocks leveled out more and ready for delivery. To the left where the big river rock will be and to the right the stupa. So let's go in a little more and you can see how I've got that built up now with leveling of dirt and pea gravel and a nice flat rock in the back. That's the one that'll have like a seat on it. And then for the main area you can see I've got the circle mark now with orange uh, paint, water, soluble, whatever that'll, that'll fade over time. Got it leveled out and the book with the poly cannon is now buried deep. Budam saranam gachami Damam saranam gachami Sangam saranam gachami Namo me the boats. Namo me the boats. And the carved rock is still here, obviously. And the circle is now defined. There's the holly. So here it is from another angle. This is the way the fork lift will be coming in. And let's just take a little walk over to one of those white pines that I mentioned. I had a tree guy tell me that uh, he thought this thing was over a hundred years old. So fine. And let's get a little closer to the trunk. Reverend Steve Stuckey from the San Francisco Zen Center talks about communing with a tree. This is my tree that I just love. Nature is amazing indeed. Back to the path. cool stones to make up the path. and back around to the Nambutsu. Namamita boats. Namamita boats. Now we'll meet a boat.